Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'd like to show you how to make foaming hand soap. This is a really easy way to make foaming hand soap. I'll talk a little later in the video about other things that you can use it for and how you can tweak it for other purposes, but let's focus on how to make a foaming hand soap right now. Super easy, let's jump right in. I'm going to start with about a quarter of a cup of liquid Castile soap. You can use a variety of different liquid soaps, but I try to stick with something as pure and natural as possible, and this Dr. Bronner's or another similar Castile soap has been my favorite. I use the unscented one so that I can add essential oils and customize it the way that I want. So I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup. Eventually I'd like to make my own liquid tallow soap. I just haven't quite gotten everything together yet for that, but hopefully pretty soon I will have a video on that. The soap dispenser that I'm using is this really cute glass mason jar one. I've really been liking these. I'll link them below if you're looking for one, but I like them because they're a glass jar. Avoiding plastic is always nice as much as possible. And then the top is a foaming dispenser, so it works really well. Been really happy with these. Next, you can either leave it unscented or you can add essential oils. I have this, one of these summer blends from Plant Therapy. This is a really nice citrus one, really nice summery scent. And depending on how strong the essential oils are, I'll either do about 24 drops or 12 drops for a pint jar like this. And then I'm gonna fill the jar the rest of the way with water. I try to pour it in carefully so that I don't foam up the soap too much. And that's it. You just put on the top and it is ready to go. Sometimes I'll gently swirl it around just a little bit, but usually by pouring the water in carefully, you get everything pretty well combined. Anyway, so there you have it. This works really nicely for a hand soap. The Castile soap is one that isn't gonna be really drying to the skin, so it's nice if you happen to wash your hands a lot. The essential oils make it smell nice and they have benefits, aromatherapy benefits, as well as cleansing and like sanitizing benefits. You can also make a foaming dish soap version of this if you use some liquid dish soap. I really like to use a natural clear dish soap like the kind from Azure Standard and then that can be nice for washing up dishes. I also like to use this in the shower. It works as a really quick version of like a a, fo a shaving foam, so I'll use that. I also like to use this a lot of times for washing my kids up. I'll have some kid safe essential oils in there just a little bit, and it works great as an all over body wash for them and shampoo. So super versatile, so easy to make, completely natural. You skip all those different toxins that are usually in store-bought hand soaps and body washes and all those different kinds of things. You have something pure and natural and really easy to make. So like I said, check out that description box for this same foaming jar dispenser that I have, as well as where I like to get these essential oils. I'll have this soap linked down below. I like buying it in a big jug like this so I don't have to remember to buy it all the time and it's a better deal. I also have a link to Azure Standard where I get my dish soap from. Hope that you enjoyed seeing that. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.